Your picture is a fake. Oh, Parker, you are such a boy scout. When are you going to give a guy a break? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 photo mysteries explained. Hey, you're a great big photo, you know that? For this list, we'll be looking at famously unexplainable photographs that actually have very real and sometimes quite straightforward explanations. Do you know about any of these? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Cottingly Fairies. Back in 1917, two young cousins, Francis Griffiths and Elsie Wright, took the first of a series of photos that seemingly depicted small winged fairies, with Griffiths posing alongside them in most. The initial response to these images is said to have been mixed. Some were enthusiastic, including Wright's mother plus Sherlock Holmes author Arthur Conan Doyle. Others, like Wright's father, quickly dismissed them as a hoax, and they were the ones that were right. In 1983, nearly 70 years after the first picture was taken, the cousins admitted that the fairies were nothing but cardboard reproductions of images from a children's book, modified with homemade wings. You grew up with your mother Frances. Did she ever talk about it? No. She was very ashamed of it. She was ashamed of deception. Although Griffiths did maintain the legitimacy of one photograph. But dear viewer, is that enough for you to still believe in fairies? <laughs> I do. I do believe in fairies. I do, I do. Number 9. The Time Traveling Hipster. In 2010, the Braylorn Pioneer Museum uploaded a collection of old photos online, with one particularly catching public attention. Taken in 1941, it ostensibly shows a time traveling hipster with modern fashion preferences standing among more traditionally dressed people. Three items in particular seemed too anachronistic for the 1940s. His logoed t-shirt, sunglasses, and tiny camera. However, all of these items have plausible explanations. Logoed t-shirts were indeed around in the 40s, and his bears the logo of the then recently folded NHL team, the Montreal Maroons. Both his sunglasses and camera were also of the time. Instead of a time traveler, this man was simply a fashion-forward individual in an age when everyone else was still wearing their Sunday best. Number 8. Giant Human Skeleton Though perhaps a little dubious from the outset, this one still took the internet by storm. Back in the mid-2000s, a photo came to light apparently displaying the upper half of a massive human skeleton. A man can be seen digging beside it, but the entire width of his body only covers about half of the skull. Accompanied with the photo was only a brief explanation. Purportedly, the skeleton belongs to an ancient race of giants known as the People of Odd, who were smote by God after turning against him. Now, I'm not much for blaspheming, but that last one made me laugh. But no, this was actually just a photoshopped image that had at one time been entered into a contest before someone else reposted it and added a made-up history. Just one giant hoax. What? That wasn't real. Who cares? Don't say that. Please don't say that. It was real. It was real to me. Number 7. Brown Lady of Raynham Hall One of the most famous ghost photos in British history, the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall, depicts a wispy figure descending a staircase. The story goes that photographers for Country Life magazine were visiting Raynham Hall for an article when one of them saw a spectral being. They quickly snapped a picture, and the ghost was seemingly captured on film. Why did you do that? Why would you do that to me when you know how I feel about that? Why? Reports of ghosts in Raynham Hall do go back hundreds of years, so could this picture confirm the stories? Well, it's more than likely that the brown lady is actually nothing more than a case of superimposition or double exposure. Well, that wasn't such a chore, now, was it? While the photo has not been officially debunked, this ghost is all but busted. Number 6. Giant Watermelon Watermelons can get pretty big, but not so big that they require eight arms to carry them. Oh, man. Carried a watermelon. This bizarre picture, taken by one Alfred Stanley Johnson, shows four girls holding a massive slice of watermelon, with other children gathered around the melon itself. The picture is fun, but it's simply an old postcard. More specifically, it's an example of exaggerated postcards, which were popular in the United States in the early 1900s. 
The real photo required a big piece of wood resembling the shape of a watermelon slice, and Johnson performed some primitive Photoshop to turn it into a watermelon. It was never meant to be taken seriously, but it still tricked some people. Number five, George Adamski's UFO. This Polish-American author claimed to have taken numerous photos of UFOs and to have traveled to the moon with the Nordic Alien Space Brothers. Sure, so far sounds incredibly plausible. His famous 1952 photo of a flying saucer convinced some people, but skeptics thought the top looked more like a chicken brooder. German rocket scientist Walter Johannes Rydell took a closer look and concluded that Adamski had stuck together a lamp and some general electric light bulbs. In 2012, researcher Joel Carpenter found that the top perfectly matched a 1930s pressurized gas lantern. Well, hey, maybe alien ship designs were inspired by 1930s lanterns, right? Number four, Ted Sirius's Thoughtography. The human mind is powerful, but is it powerful enough to put images on film? Well, unemployed bellhop Ted Sirius claimed it was, and so did his supporters. Notably, psychiatrist Jewel Eisenbud, who published a book about him in 1967. This is a Stargate-winning airplane. This is what Ted got. Here you will notice that the strut here is an inverted V. Up here, he has re-inverted it. Sirios claimed that thanks to his psychic abilities, he could imprint whatever he thought about onto Polaroid film. All he needed was a tube that he called a gizmo. One striking example featured a car on a street outside. How did he do it? Well, the mystery is simpler than it seems. Eventually, several people witnessed Sirios smuggling photos into his gizmo. His trick has since been replicated. Number three, lunch atop a skyscraper. Here we have one of the most famous photographs in American history. It shows 11 incredibly brave men sitting on a narrow crossbeam that's hanging hundreds of feet in the air. And it's enough to give you vertigo. And when you see that photograph, I think the first thing that happens is your hands begin to perspire because you immediately put yourself on that girder with those gentlemen. But it's also kind of fake. These are real iron workers, and it is a real beam used in the construction of 30 Rockefeller Plaza. However, the photo was actually staged by Rockefeller Center itself and is really one of many posed photos taken that day, all to promote the opening of the building just a few months later. It's also thought that a completed section of the skyscraper was actually located just below the borders of the photo to catch the men were they to fall. The job itself was certainly dangerous, but this image, perhaps not quite so much. Number two, the Loch Ness Monster. What is that? It's that famous picture of the monster, but it's fake. You know it's fake. It looks real. Oh, it's fake, all right. Alongside the Patterson-Gimlin film, the so-called surgeon's photograph of the Loch Ness Monster is another of the most famous images in cryptozoology. This iconic photo shows an elongated dinosaur-like neck rising out of Scotland's Loch Ness. It was published in the Daily Mail in the UK in 1934 and caused a media sensation. But while it remained popular for decades afterwards, it's now known to be a hoax. Not only did it seem to prove that Nessie existed, it came from an impeccable source, a much respected surgeon. Yet the true story of the picture is one of greed and deceit. In reality, it was all manufactured by a man named Marmaduke Wetherill, who had worked for the Daily Mail. Reportedly, Wetherill sought revenge on his employers after he was mocked by them, and so he made the Nessie in the image out of a toy submarine and wood putty. The famous picture was taken by his son and published in the mail under the pretense of a legitimate sighting. It seems that the hoax was incredibly simple, but effective. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Abraham Lincoln's ghost. Come, there is much to see. Many feel that our loved ones are always with us, and perhaps that's why this last photo has remained so popular. Taken after President Abraham Lincoln's death, it shows what looks like Lincoln's ghost holding the shoulders of his widow, Mary. It's maybe comforting, but it's also fake. This is a prominent example of spirit photography, which boomed in popularity following the American Civil War and the advent of spiritualism. 
the Lincoln image was created by the notable fraud William H. Mumler, who's remembered in history for taking advantage of grieving families. He reportedly stole pictures of their relatives to use in his quote-unquote photography, and all it really amounts to is a simple case of double exposure, but one that fooled millions. Turns out this Abe isn't so honest. Are you kidding me? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.